Really? No! Luke! Luke got that on! Did he get that? Did he get that? Hey, Luke! No more fireworks for you! New Year's Eve, about 7 o'clock. Lillian sees on Instagram that Orlando MX is open until midnight. So she's like, yeah, we gotta go. We have to go. How could we not go? It's New Year's Eve. Is Lillian going for it? I don't know. It's Mason's going first. All right, just scooted it back. Mason didn't say a word, he's just going for it. Well, I'm happy with the takeoff. It's pretty solid, pretty good lip, so I'm happy with that. I'm happy the kids feel confident enough to hit it at a decent speed. Uh, so I go right off the middle, I'll be fine. Yeah, go down the middle. Okay. Dude, I thought it was going way too slow. Once again, he proves me wrong, that was perfect. I'm sorry, Lillian, but I just can't let you ride the e-bike. Why? It says here in the manual, it's not for people who are pregnant or psychologically unfit. I'm not pregnant. I know. <laughs> I'm gonna roll it a couple more times. Okay, yeah, do that, roll it a couple times, it's great. Third? Okay. <laughs> Going him in. Oh, no. <laughs> she lost him. It got soft? No, it's not soft. Oh, Luke cut you off? Oh, I thought he was towing you in. Don't cut her off this time. <laughs> but she says she's going to do third. Oh. Woo! Here he comes. Yeah! Woo! That was smooth, man. Luke's been working on brake tapping too. Let's watch and see if he does it. Yeah, man. Lillian probably looks different now because she's 15. We got you a pre wait. I gotta show people. I got Lillian a present, something that you've wanted for a long time. All right. Let's go. Happy birthday, Lillian! They're super okay. expensive over, maybe on your birthday, not today. Super expensive over price gas. There you go. Let's go. All right. I've never tried so hard not to spill gas in my life. It's $100 for this thing, Lil. Shoot, I should get a funnel or something. No, don't spill. No, no, no. $1, $2. <laughs> yeah, we just wasted $3. Hey guys, we're all gonna meet this mark before we get water. Say it, say I can do this. I can do it. What? I can do it. I can do this. <laughs> Man, that's just disappointing. If I you could see scared. how slow you were going over the hump, you'd mm -hmm. be like, why did I hold it on longer? That's what I'm, that's where I'm at with this. Actually, right, so you do 20 jumping jacks, set your shoulders here. Yay. <laughs> Let me see the best whip you got on here, Lil. What is it? Uh, uh, here, we, here we go. That one? Yeah, let's get a of this one. Oh, yeah. Woo! <laughs> that looks like uh, Luke a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> Butt whips are the beginning of real whip. Ever since my best friend died in the freak ice skating accident, I've been pretty sad lately.
<laughs> Dude, that's hilarious. <laughs> Not you, I'm listening to a podcast. Anyways, go ahead and continue. Dad, I don't know why you were driving the Zamboni on the ice when the blind kids were ice skating. <laughs> Dude, I tell you what, this Daniel Blair makes hilarious commentary. Anyways, buddy, good talking to you. Yeah, you too. I'm always here if you need me. Okay. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know what's wrong with me. Good job, Luke. Dude, you're landing so hard on the gas. Oh, oh. Hey, you almost fall over. Yeah! A new trick today. Good job, guys. A few moments later. <laughs> we need to clean the air filters. I need you to dump the WRF3 cleaner into the bucket. Never mind, I'll just edit it. Luke's hit this before a couple times, but he said it looks sketchy today, but he's gonna do it anyways. No, you kind of wheel it out of that one. I'm gonna do it. You wanna follow me and do it? Yeah. So he really should try to get it. Whoa. A little Ronnie Mac there. Dude, we saw you frame case it and then we just saw your bike fly in the air. Oh, you got it on video? He's like, uh, let me flip off my, oh, let me dismount off my bike. Good job. I'm proud of you. Yeah, big yeah, you did. I'm so proud of you. It wasn't even that hard, was it? What'd you do wrong? Lil, you did it though. This thing has like hardly any run up and no berm. No berm right here. Gas it out of the turn, hold it on, made it good. If you're not comfortable with like just holding your hand still like that yet, check up back there. Make sure that you can hit the gas early there. Oh, uh, that was way too easy. That was really easy. <laughs> and then Luke mentions that he wants to try this triple. So Dean's like, do it right now then. Let's do it. We're all gonna watch you. We're gonna watch you right now. Go do it. So now Luke's gonna go do it. They sent us these awesome pit boards, so we're gonna make a little clip for him. 
Hey Trip. Okay, so I just gotta get a couple clips of me using these pit boards for them. Okay. Can you like stand over my shoulder? I'm gonna go in the shade. Over your shoulder? Yeah, and then just get a shot of me riding on them. Okay. You got a good shot of me? Uh yes. Okay. You got that? Yeah. Okay. Got it? Yeah, okay. I got it. Okay, good? All right, I know that looked dumb, but I think I got some good shots enough for a Instagram video. It is a 2021 CRF 250R. You think you can handle it? I think so, let's go see. Better yet, can the bike handle you, right? That's what you said Yeah, it can handle me. <laughs> okay, handle. all right, well, let's gear up and hop on this one. Right. I think I'm gonna do it. Do it, man. Right. Let it rip. Hey, you go. Oh, he did it. <laughs> Way to hit a jump in the middle of a training that we're not even working on. <laughs> It was either that or cut it off. I don't know. We'll try you this one do first. It. Okay, rip it. rip it. TikToks. Oh, really? So we're happy to see that after the crash, you're still able to TikTok and stuff. Yeah, so. always right on, thank you. Five minutes later. Five. Go! No, you go together. Go, why? Go. Get a little closer. A little closer. A little more. Good? Oh. No, I'm just relaxing. Tell you what guys, pro riders these days with their electric start, can't even remember how to start at 65. Turn around, let me see the back. Nice. You want me to get that signed for you? I can get an autograph for you if you want. No, you're good? Awesome. Hey, you know Lucas down there? Lucas? On the phone? Lucas on the phone. Yeah, yeah. I'm signing with Honda. You signing the Honda? No, me. Oh, you signed it. No, I'm signing with them. Right, You're signing with them. Oh, Lucas is signing you to race with factory Honda. Yes. All right, guys, we got AJ Canzaro here, who you might know from his YouTube channel, AJ Canzaro. Learning how to have things go wrong, because let's face it, motocross, things go wrong often. Knowing how to like do a quick reset, move on, and to think about the next thing that's happening. I think a lot of regular people have small things go wrong and it, it right. it'll like ruin their day or they'll have bad days or bad weeks. I don't really think a bad day exists. Like I, I have things go wrong and then I'm immediately beyond them. Same thing like when you're on the track, you have something go wrong, right. you immediately are on to the next. Right? It just freaking makes you tough, man. You never know what's gonna get you thrown at you here. You get hurt, you get ran over. You gotta work on stuff. It ain't all glory and Instagram clips. There's a lot of work behind the scenes, so. 
yeah, if you can make it to the track, you know, you gotta have the money, so you gotta do the real life thing. It all goes hand in hand. I guess it's all about balance. It's a real test, like how bad do you actually want to do this thing? And I think you really see, we have PBs riding on the track behind us. Like when you have a five or a six, or in his case now seven years old, and they actually want to make that sacrifice. Like he wants me to wake him up at five in the morning to go ride. That has to be teaching wow. lessons, Dang. right? Uh, when the, uh, the track is three hours away and we gotta be there by seven or something, right. we gotta get up early. I don't think you're getting that level of discipline in other things, and obviously it goes well sometimes and it goes badly at others, but you always have to not give up, right? right? So there's a real lesson there, I think, that the regular sports probably aren't teaching. So you have to really want it and you have to make sacrifices to do it, and uh, sometimes it goes badly and you have to just deal with that, and the highs and the lows, I think, are more so than most sports. So I think you learned something there, but the other cool thing is I feel like the sport is like big, but not so huge. Like we're hanging out at a ride day here, there's Jet Lawrence over there, and I'm hearing all these stories of people right. who rode together and they were like five, and my dad do your dad, and everybody seems to know each other. It taught me determination, willpower, perseverance, just being able to, to really put your focus in on something and then work for it and achieve it. Hey guys, I'm actually pretty impressed with Mason tonight. He's uh, not riding sloppy or lazy, he's in his attack position, standing up almost in and out of every turn. <laughs> Little OJ, I think she's just testing out the suspension. Looks like it worked pretty good. I need a new gear bag. I think that the viewers would like to see the durability of this OGO bag that we have right here. What do you guys think? These OGO bags, the strap handles are stitched very well. Watch. <laughs> 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 See what I mean? It's a good bag. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> hey. Oh, help him, help him, help him, help him. Go, 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 yeah! Woo! What's up, baby? Dang, that is close. They were dead even for a bit there. You guys don't mind me, keep doing what you're doing, all right? I was trying to get Carlos to rev the bike for us, but he wouldn't do it. I don't think we're supposed to be over here. Okay, so we were, we snuck into the pits. I asked somebody where the uh, the seats are. They pointed this way, and we ended up in uh, industry seating, so. We're on the wrong side of the track. I know, we're supposed to be over there. Luke and Lillian are all the way on the other side of the stadium in their normal seats. I feel kind of bad. I, I feel like I should go over there with them. So that's what we're gonna do. It's Mason's favorite part, he loves that part. <laughs> Max in third, he's gonna win. Mason was right.
Tomac's in second. He's closing in on Cooper. Do you think he's going to get him? Yeah. Yeah? Right on. What's your name? Tucker. Good to meet you, bro. Coming up on Dean Wilson. Maybe Dean Wilson will hold him up. My kids just hopped the fence and then ran onto the track. They didn't let me know first. They didn't ask me. They didn't say, hey dad, can we go on the track? They didn't let me know what they were doing. They just hopped the fence and ran that way. So I, I should probably go find them. Um, so Lillian. So, did you see the crash of uh, Hunter casing the triple in Supercross? Oh, no. Totally in practice? Not. Totally not. You, yes, you did. Then why did you ask? Just go along with it. <laughs> Obviously, it's a setup question. I was the Can you first just... one to bring it up to you. If you're asking How about me this? if I've seen it. Did you notice what Jet did when he crashed? Yes, he pulled off. He pulled over. And checked on his he brother. He checked on him. For like a good five seconds and then left. He comforted him. He's rubbing his back. He, he, he sure rubbed his he back. Okay. He massaged him. Why don't you do that he when your brother crashes? He's on his boo-boo. After us. Who is? <laughs> Bad guys. Bad guys are after you? Yeah. Well, that doesn't sound good. Please make it stop. 105.47 in Tallahassee, Florida. A second, and then I realized like, up. Oh, well, my truck's getting broken into, so. Dude, how did they get in? How did they get into my truck? It was, it was locked. Well, I guess they put a puncture right here and uh, obviously know what they're doing because they were able to break into the truck. We got Luke working on wheelies. Nice. Got some scattered pictures lying on my bedroom floor. Reminds me of the times we shared. Makes me wish that you were real, cause I know it seems I've forgotten my purpose in this life. It's bad. No, it's not warm. It's the opposite of very, very warm. So I missed a million miles of fun. I know it's up for me. If you steal my sunshine, making sure I'm not in too deep. If you steal my sunshine, first and only. Charlie's such a good hider. There he is. <laughs> yeah. Let's go into your special place. There you go. We'll let you out in a few hours. All right, morning workout. You did 10 last time. One, two, three, four, five, 10, 11, 12, 13. So Luke got into like a pretty intense battle with another rider. They were trying to take each other out or something. But did it start out as an intense battle or was it? Did it start out as like a friendly battle and then it escalated? Well, I like caught up to him and passed him. You caught up to him and passed him. So he, did you start like it? Or? Pass, I just like flew right by him. It wasn't dirty. No, not at all. You passed him clean. 
passed him clean now. Okay. I don't think he was very happy that I passed him. He wasn't Maybe happy. Maybe I roosted him or something. The roost did hurt yesterday. He upshifts coming into the corner, comes into me. I didn't like that very much because he almost took me out. Kind of retaliated by cutting the track. Are you talking about the clip that I got? Yeah. I only got one clip of uh, what happened and what I saw. So Luke had the outside line and the other guy was about three lines inside. He goes three lines inside to all the way to the top of the berm to the outside. So he was definitely going to try to push Luke wide. Luckily, Luke kind of checked up. I don't think Luke wanted to risk it. He could have pinned it around the outside, but we're just doing a practice. He didn't really want to risk it. So it looked like Luke checked up. He hit his brake and then uh, Luke gives his like head shake, shakes his head. Oh no. So I'm like, all right, this isn't good. That is one of the best looking bikes I've ever seen. It looks really good on you though. I like the red. Heard of that, it's gonna be awesome. The kids are making fun of me because I parked, they said to park on the street, but I parked on the grass. But okay, so if we parked here and unloaded everything and uh, had the kids get all their stuff on, there's like a 50% chance Mason would've got hit by a car. So I think this is good. Luke, do you know which ones are weeds? All of them. Hey, <laughs> pull that out of my thumb. Yeah, all of them. What? Pull that out of my thumb, it's a spike. Pushed it in more on accident. You got it, Luke. I believe in you. Pull hard. Pull hard. Focus. All in the hips. Dude, I can't. Pull. Pull. Harder. Dude, it's slippery, bruh. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Yeah, he did it. Dirt bike jump, I hit it. It's scarier because it's, it's a, a ramp. ramp. What I do is I kind of come in slower. Like, well, not slow, but like. Cruising? Yeah, fast and just like raw. Fun. Yeah. Can't wait to uh, get it back 10 feet. Start doing some X game stuff. <laughs> Double backflip Superman. Yeah, of course. Yeah. You got it. Anything you want, anything you need. Your mind's got the key ingredients, believe me. Better see if you're next But I just slide like that. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope. Burn blasting. Nice. One footer. What? <laughs> that was crazy. We did a one footer. Like it, like it, like it. Sweet. Really good on it. Thanks. Hey! Hey! 
he almost got undressed and then Mason threw a stick and Luke ran off like a dog. Oh my gosh, really bro? Do not come back up without a rock. Better be a good one too. Yeah! Do you want to try it, Mason? Sure. Want to be in the video? Roddy Mac in the hizzy, woo! Oh. Kinda look like him. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Anything? What is it? Is it a rock? Two rocks! Oh, two rocks, dude! He just showed you up, man. <laughs> Your little brother got two rocks. Look at his size. <laughs> it took you like five tries to get two rocks, Luke, and Mason did it in one. Time's a wasting, man, let's go! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Bad news, guys. Larry's coming with us to the track tonight. Why don't you tell everybody what you're riding tonight? My freshie. No more YZ85. Nope. Right there. Anyone wants to buy it? Let me know. Anyone wants to buy that? It's never been raced fast. It's never gone <laughs> Will you let me share and use the footage of you at? The Washougal Regional. Yeah, I guess I guess that could happen. Yeah. That could okay. Happen. Cause that's gold content, and I wanna I want people to see it. It was Moto One or Two. Moto, uh, Moto Two. Moto Two. First lap. You're in second. Yep. And, uh, and I just, I was taking this inside run all day. It just was different that moto. And and then what'd you do? Oh, and then I threw a tantrum. Yeah. And then he basically did an impression of Mason playing Fortnite, oh, just like yeah. stomping around in the mud, kicking his bike, and oh, yeah. <laughs> it was it was good. I laughed like I felt bad. I well, I felt sorry for you, but I still I still laugh because it was funny. It's but. all right. We still made it to Loretta's, so nice. Congrats. Good job, man. Thank you. On the track again okay so Larry calls me this morning 17 times to ask me can you take me riding can you take me riding can you take me riding I'm like fine I take him I bring him riding he doesn't bring any gas so he gets here runs out of gas once goes and finds somebody to donate I don't we don't we just have premix gas so he's, he's on the big 250f he finds somebody else to donate to his cause gives him gas runs out of gas again pushes his bike off the track again done for the day apparently he's back on the track i guess i guess he found someone else to, to donate more gas to him again <laughs> uh, i think he ran out of gas again at least he doesn't have to push his bike too far this time larry what happened are you hurt are you okay you have a flat tire did you break a chain did your bike seize what happened what's oh, going on all those happened did you bend your bars did you tweak your forks? Yeah. Did you run out of gas? Yeah. <laughs> all happened in one jump. I ran out of gas and broke everything. All, the, all that happened at once? Yep. Oh, bummer. You have to catch it. If you catch it, you keep it. Okay. <laughs> Let me know if you like it. Dude, is this a new limited edition? It's new, edition? new limited edition, yeah. Dude, I love those guys. Yeah, I worked really hard designing the back. You like the back? Yeah, Looks dude. pretty it good, looks huh? super cool. <laughs> Feeling it? I think the run up looks pretty good and your speed is, is pretty good too, so. It's fourth like Yeah, let me let me give you the GoPro and I'll go over here if you want to do it.
I was probably more nervous than he was. I thought he was coming up way short. He creased it though. If he came up any shorter, that, that would have probably ruined our day. <laughs> This is kind of cool too. So the last time we were here, I was trying to push Luke. I was trying to get him to jump the double for the first time, to double the triple. And it was a big deal for him when he finally doubled the triple at our first panic rev training. Now, second panic rev training, now he's doing the triple. How cool is that? You're just trying to get set up straight, get, make sure you're driving straight for the jump. Now the next thing to do is add this turn in, try to try to execute this turn and carry more momentum. So then you have you don't have to get on it as hard through the bumps or up the lip. And it's still gonna be wide open no matter what. It seems wide open in my mind, right? Yeah. Interesting guys, so if we compare Mason just now hitting this section to back when Luke was hitting it, when he was on his 65, night and day guys. It would have been night and day. But I guess that's what happens when you're the youngest kid. So let that be a lesson to you kids out there. Don't be the first one born. Wait until your parents have a little bit more money, they can afford better bikes, do better training, then, and then be born. No, seriously guys. Okay, so uh, Mason's hitting this step up double with ease and I remember when Luke was hitting it I think he kind of tested it like almost hit it but he was like landing on top or casing it maybe the landing was taller when we were here last time I, I don't remember maybe just more in my mind but I remember Luke kind of casing it a little bit and I was worried I was nervous for him because I was afraid like if he lands on the top and bounces it's a steep drop on the other side and if he bounces goes over the bars that's a long way down for him to come down onto his uh, wrist or collarbone or something so I remember Luke not really being able to hit that step up and me being okay with that because it was it was a little sketchy and now Mason's making it look easy he's hitting it no problem I like that line Mason's doing. He's going all the way outside, really smooth right here. He's going outside and then cutting to inside and uh, he's making it look really good. So Larry's here and he uh, said he's gonna hit the triple and he wants me to film him. Should I stand up for Larry and film or should I just sit here? I guess I'll stand up for Larry. Yay, Larry. <laughs> Good job hitting the triple, Larry. Thank you. How was it? That was pretty easy. Pretty easy? Mm -hmm. Was my videoing skills okay for you? They were, they were okay. I could have done better. Well, I'm glad it's good enough because I don't want to walk over there again because it's hot. You covering your nipples for a reason? I don't want your video to get people. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All right, so we just made some new friends. We got uh, these two kids right here. This kid is from California. You can tell by his hair. This kid's from California. You can tell by his bling. This kid's from California. You can tell by his smug attitude. And uh, where are you from? California. Serious? Yeah. Okay. And then you're from Nevada. Yeah. So what's up from Nevada? And then you're from California. California too? Yeah. yeah. 
Dang, we got so many California kids. Uh, we got uh, Luke 96 MX. How do I learn how to whip good to impress mm. girls? Oh, oh, good question. Uh, if you think you're ready to whip, then you're out of your damn mind. Quote from Albert. Right. Well, at least try to hit one of them. I believe in you. What? what? The big double or the uh, big triple? Bro, you haven't even hit them yet. I just told you I case the big triple. Case? Yeah, last Was up. it even bad? No. He cased it worse than me. Is it bad to case? No. I think it's I came off it, I landed, and I bounced. I was like, oh yeah, no! And then I was fine. I was like, bit. oh. Do It is just past 10 o'clock, so that means we have approximately 17 minutes until Larry falls asleep for the whole drive. Let's go. 20 minutes later. What year it is. It's a 2020. How fast it is. 2020 Y is 85. I think it goes like 50. And then he needs a new rear shock. <laughs> Why? I'm Why does it need a new rear shot? Probably needs a new top end. Probably needs its oil changed. It, right. pro it probably needs its oil changed. All right, guys. Uh, we either need to sell Larry's bike or start a GoFundMe so that he could buy a bigger chest protector. One of the two. Yeah, it's probably gonna be bumpy by the time I get back on the track. All right, so I want to make sure you work on body position. Wait, are you making an ice shish kebab? Yeah. That's genius. Here. Ow. That's awesome. Here. Do you want to lick it? You want to lick the shish kebab? I said, can you video me when I start going fast? Yeah, when you start going fast. Yeah, I will. So like, give me a squat over there. Over there. When you're going fast. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Large Sprite for Larry. Here's your ranch, Larry. Here's your straw for your ranch, Larry. Probably shouldn't film where Larry goes to school. That's probably not a good idea. <laughs> Larry, come out! Yeah. Hey, Larry, you're out of school. Yeah, I'm out of school, let's go. I had to check you out of school. They asked your a grade and I guessed ninth. Are you ninth? Yeah. Sweet! And then I had to put down the reason and I put not dirt bikes. I know, she was like, <laughs> what's your name? And I was like, Larry, Larry, not dirt biking? <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, look at this, Larry remembered his gas can. Oh, good job, you even pulled up. And he said his leg hurt, but now he's fine. And he's like climbing around like Spider-Man on the balcony over here. So I'm pretty sure he's good. But literally just sat down to eat and you're already done with your burger. Pretty much. Like we literally just pulled over to eat and he's already done. Can your bike do that? No, that's right, it can't. So suck it. I'm just kidding, that was, that was uncalled for, I'm sorry. I mean like you could actually bunny hop this thing. I mean I can. I can't make guarantees about you, but I can actually get it off the ground a little bit, the rear wheel off the ground a little bit, which is not easy when, you're, when your rear wheel has a motor in it. That was perfect. <laughs> that would have made it. I think that would have done it. That would have made it, man. Yeah. 
to push his body weight forward yeah. onto his front tire. And... Dad, can I see what happened? Yeah, just a second, bud. I think you would have rode out of it, but that that next jump comes up on you so fast that you just can't get, you just can't collect yourself in time for that last jump. Pile drove, drove you right into the ground. This video like literally made my day. This guy sent me this clip of his kid. In Australia, these guys are watching our videos on the big screen. He's my favorite YouTube channel. And the guy messages me and says that the only time he can get his kid to sit still is when he's watching our videos. You'll be out there one day, buddy. You just keep studying for now. That just like blows my mind. Now you want to ride that and see if you can ride it and then have Bryson chase you on his old bike. <laughs> if that is his old bike. There you go. And it looks like it. It so is. Gonna... Lily's got a bit of a lead. Bryson's really going to have to nail this. Uh, I think he's got it. Here we go close. Ah. I think Bryson was nice on that one. He told me to come over here and check out this jump and he wasn't joking. This thing is a booter right here All right, we found some local kids. Uh, this one's name is what's your name? Aiden Right here. What's up guys? Apparently they told me it's not cold here today, which I thought it was so I was confused But I guess it's not <laughs> Extreme Ronnie match right there, Lil. Hold on a second. Come on, Mason. You got it, bro. Let's go. Nice. One more. Heck yeah. Woo! 